many of the law enforcement agencies around the country, and still we, until we started talking about this a few months ago, had no clue this was going on. Only on 7 tonight, technology is giving criminals a new way to get into your car with key fob cloning. Like a lot of other things, our high-tech world experts say auto theft taking a digital turn. 7 Action News reporter Amir David shows us how the touch of a button can take the place of shattered glass and pop locks. It's the surveillance footage now capturing the attention of investigators across the country. Proof of a new trend in digital auto theft. In California, a man walks by mysteriously holding a device in his left hand. Just moments later, he effortlessly opens the car door, making off with a bag and even a bicycle in the trunk. Now experts say this kind of theft actually starts with the driver. You hit the lock on your key fob, Hear that sound and think everything is secure, but what you don't realize is that somebody's standing nearby just waiting to intercept the signal. This receives the device when the driver leaves the car and pushes the fob uh, to lock it up, and that relays it automatically to this other smaller device. NCIB investigators say they believe it's called a relay attack unit, a system any criminal can easily buy online. It's a very valuable, easy way to make a lot of money by stealing somebody's car that's worth $35,000, dollars $55,000, and all you have to have is a device that costs a few thousand dollars. The technology is so good today that criminals are not only able to unlock the car, they can make off with it too. And every key fob user we talked to had no idea it was even possible. I think it's terrifying. I don't think it's something I even considered when I got my car. I think that's pretty creepy that there's a chance I could come out and either have items missing from my car and or my car missing in total. And because there's rarely ever security cam footage catching these criminals in the act, police don't know much about it either. Many of the law enforcement agencies around the country and still we, until we started talking about this a few months ago had no clue this was going on. So is this high tech crime happening here? We spoke to the director of HEAT, a program designed to help eliminate auto theft in the state of Michigan. I've talked to a lot of law enforcement contacts in Michigan, and they've said that they have not seen this at all yet in Michigan. Uh, usually trends come from the West Coast and end up in Michigan at some point. That's why she says it's important to always stay one step ahead of the trend. Don't just have an alarm have a club that you put on your steering wheel if you have to park it outdoors. Park in a very well-lit area. It makes me feel very vulnerable that, you know, perhaps I should uh, use a different method of opening my car. Experts say that's exactly what you should do to stop the bad guys from picking up your fob signal. Lock and unlock those car doors manually. After all, going back to the basics may be the only way to prevent the hacking of today's modern vehicle which experts say is now just a computer on wheels. For 7 Action News, I'm Amira David.